Hello, this is Darren from Arctic Arsenal, and I've recently come to two realizations. Number one, I haven't made a video for YouTube in over a year. And the other thing, despite that, people are still tuning into my channel to see the things I've built. And so I thought I would fix this situation by posting videos, maybe weekly or bi-weekly, just showing off some of the things that I've made, or I'm in the process of making. And first off, what I've got here is a Malcolm Reynolds Firefly holster. And this one is nearly done. And I just have to do the stitching along here. I've got the holes marked out. And this is the little strap that goes around it and the buckle. And this one will be up for sale as soon as it's finished. I'll either put it on eBay or if I get an offer for it in the meantime, I'll uh, be willing to sell it. And of course, I have more leather and can make more of these at any time. Uh, here is, this is actually the first one I ever made. And this is what they look like when they're done. This is my... Uh, my gun. I've stripped the paint off this. I'm going to be repainting it. I did a lousy job on it the first time, so I stripped it down. And I've got some paint. I'm going to repaint this one. So we'll uh, we'll post that one here when it's when it's finished. So that's the first thing I'm working on right now. The other thing I just finished these. These are two Obi Wan style Episode Three Jedi pouches, and uh, these are for a friend of mine and. They turned out pretty well. They are secured with a magnetic clasp. And on the back, you see the, uh, the belt loop has a snap and it's riveted on at the top. And they turned out pretty well. These, I can make more at any time. Uh, my price on these is going to be $50 a piece plus shipping. I also recently just finished these for another friend. And I've got two different sizes. There's a small one and a large one. These were done in black. You wanted them in black. But they have the same shape of flap. And they are also held in with the magnetic clasp. Now these ones I did a lining in. I can do that if uh, the customer wants that. That'd be an extra $5 charge just for the material and the time to do it. Uh, it's just a felt material. And these ones, the, uh, the belt loop snaps on at the top, the same as the other. And that makes it easier to get it on and off your belt without having to undo the whole belt. You just uh, snap that on. These ones, the large ones will be 50, the smaller one will be 40. I can make any size or shape you want, any color you want, any style of flap. These ones had the groove on the front. I can do those. I can do lines. I can do anything. And if there's something you're interested in, just give me a message and I'll send you a quote. Now these ones, the Obi-Wan style ones, have the round molded gusset in the middle there. Uh, they're glued in all along the, the sides and stitched at the top, front and back. These ones I stitched down the sides and they're very secure and stable that way. I should add these black ones. The main body of the pouch is a very thick leather, about a six, seven ounce leather. The flaps are a little thinner leather to make it easier to open and close them. I tried making one with the same weight as this, and the pouch flap was too thick, it wouldn't close. So I used a thinner leather, and it works just fine now. What else have we got? This is a Luke Return of the Jedi belt that I'm working on for a customer. I've got it nearly done. I just have to put the buckle on and a little pouch on it there as well. And so that's something else I've been working on. Now, something else I'm working on. These are going to be wrist cuffs. Now, I did a set for a friend who uh, likes to costume uh, as, a, as a cowboy. They do these... Uh, competitions at the gun club he goes to. These wrap around, I have laces that go there, and there's a strap that goes through these holes to secure it, and they go around your wrist. Now it's kind of hard to do it. Just loose like that. But anyway, they go around your wrist, protect your wrist. And these ones I have a little concho in the shape of a bullet that'll go here. And I'm going to do some tooling around the sides. Stay tuned and we'll see what those look like. I can do wrist gauntlets, uh, bracers of any shape, style, design, any color, and if there's something you have in mind, 
email me and I'll send you a quote. The next project I'm working on, this is a calendar for next year I'm working on, and I got this neat leather. This is cow leather that they run through a dye and they make it look like crocodile or alligator leather. And it's just a, a veg tan cowhide, but when you dye this it looks really cool, it looks like an alligator. And I'm going to make a cover for this calendar, front and back, this is just a sample piece. And it's uh, it's going to be a nice, uh, nice cover when it's done. I'll show you that one when it's finished. I've got a large chunk of this stuff. Something else I was thinking about making with this stuff was more gauntlets. I kind of see if you can see that on the camera. This piece here I thought would be good as a, a wrist bracer, a gauntlet going up the arm. Have this piece right at the back of the hand. And so I've got more of this stuff and uh, I'm going to try making a couple of those as well. I think that'll look pretty cool. And I think that's about all I've got to show you today, but stay tuned. There will be more leather projects as we go. And I've also got some lightsabers in the works. I'll maybe make another video and show those off. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks a lot. Bye.